Okay, so we're ready to move into his, clo- into his new enclosure. We're going to get him off this uh, piece of terror root, because otherwise he's going to grab hold of that, and I'm never going to be able to get him off into his new enclosure. So <clears throat> we got him off that now, and we're just going to very gently again pick him up. He's being very well behaved today, and just set him in his new enclosure. He's going to walk around a little bit, probably get himself situated with where he can and can't go. And he pretty he should pretty quickly start to burrow down. Um, you can see he's already looking for looking for a, a place to stick his head. Um, though uh, he's kind of tired, it looks like now, and pretty uh, it's pretty cold out here, so he may not do much for us other than just sit there. <clears throat> but uh, fear not, he will he will burrow into the uh, the enclosure soon enough and uh, find his little nest area and uh, build himself a, uh, a nice little burrow where he'll feel warm and comfortable, especially once I get him moved into my reptile room where it'll be nice and, and warm for him. Um, the next thing where I'm going to just uh, talk about briefly because um, there's really not a lot to it, but uh, feeding centipedes is, is relatively easy, especially in this small of an enclosure. Uh, basically, <clears throat> once or twice a week, uh, depending on the size of the centipede, I'm going to drop two or three crickets in there. That's really all, there's, all there is to it. Um, you don't, there's, there's no need to be overfeeding them or giving them large rodents or anything. Um, it's, it's completely unnecessary. But uh, if you feel the need to, uh, you're more than welcome to. However, I don't. I give them just crickets, and uh, two to three crickets uh, well, twice a week is, is more than adequate for somebody like this.